Michael got bogged down at the start. Great start by Stewart. This is what you got to do. He's got to get out front and do his own thing. So Payne goes. Uh, he's definitely on the right track for now. That's a great point. And here comes Chad Reed as well. Michael on the number four. Coming right after it. Second last week in Toronto. Carmichael looking to improve on that. He and that's where he figures if you're in it at lap 10, then you got a chance to win. Oh, he throws a little triple in there. That could be a line that develops for him. He's only going to ride selected events. Here he comes, it's, and the crowd gets up on their feet. It's all about the win for him. For Stewart, it's all about points. Stewart gets caught in between a slower rider, and Carmichael cuts back on but takes the lead away. What a move. And don't forget, we saw Ricky Carmichael and James Stewart talking after the heat race, and Carmichael saw what you and I saw. It's all going to play out. That's what a 15-time champion knows. That's what his instincts tell him. Vancouver and the World Supercross GP and the AMA Supercross Series. And it looks like he's about to win in Vancouver's BC place. And he loves this stuff. Chad Reed will finish third. James Stewart has finished second. Carmichael and Stewart, or Stewart Carmichael. Gets down and he has the lead. Well, Chad's a warrior. He knows what he has to do. He has to get out front, establish the lead. He can rest tomorrow. Look at Stewart through the works for the lead. Second place in Anaheim one. Here comes Carmichael on the inside of the number four. It's going to be Carmichael's last chance to win Anaheim one here. I think he's setting it up right here, Ralph. Through the sand. By Stewart. Wow, look at Carmichael's backside of that motorcycle. Flopping him right into the air. Supercross stars, each one of them making mistakes. It's just how bad they want it. They're giving it for a pass here. Got it. Boy, he's really giving him everything he's got. This is great action. It doesn't do any good for them to do this. But you have to establish. James Stewart Stewart's has a problem. down. Stewart had a problem. Chad Reed takes the. Woo, the crowd going down the straightaway here next to Carmichael. They are pumping their fist and loving it. Stewart and, gets back around Reed for second place. And this is just what Stewart didn't need to do. He fell again. He got it coming right now. Stewart got incredibly quickly through that whoop section. Well, I'm so stiff that that's why the machine gets gets through there that much better. But what he can in traction by making it so stiff. All right, he's on Carmichael now. Will he see? He's going to come to the inside right here. Clean move. But Ricky triples out of it and retakes the lead. Look at That's the Bubba Scrub right there, taking the lead again. There he goes, blazing through the loop section. Pulls out of the turn, and then he just soaks up that right there. And watch over this triple. He just whips the bike sideways. And James Stewart wins in a high one. This time, the whole shot, it looks like he goes to the 43 machine of Jeff DeMent is Stewart. Here he comes on the seven in second. That, this, that big lead just gets wiped away. Yeah, this is just what Carmichael needs. Carmichael has been the fastest rider inside Chase Field all weekend. We'll see now if Stewart can match his pace. Left-hand side. That front wheel just sky high, barely skimming it across the rear wheel. The whoops it out come into those whoops with so much speed. So many people think that James Stewart rides on the end yet. Really, he said, yep. He said, I have never ridden to my fullest potential in the Supercross race yet. Himself a line on the inside each lap. Here comes Stewart. He's got to pass that time. Well, he chose the first set. Gap back up on James Stewart. Less than a second between the two. I think we're going to see Ricky Carnum just getting lapped here. He's in the middle of this battle for the lead. Stewart looking for back-to-back -back wins. Checkered flag for James Stewart. Back-to-back -back wins for the Kawasaki rider. Just over a second behind him. What an amazing career it has been. Can he put the cherry on top of the Sunday here tonight? He 
Sitch in third, Chad Reed, he's going to take the lead. Wild view here as Carmichael blasts past into second. Between these three awesome competitors. Last season was a perfect storm as far as Supercross was concerned on a spectacular show. And Carmichael willing to give it his all one more time. To make a move on Reed there right here. There it is. The crowd go crazy. Boy, the crowd spurred him on. You talk about it, they are reacting. The excitement is just unbelievable. You see flashes going off on every... The championship oh. lying right here. Oh, Reed with a big problem, and Stewart takes over seconds. Over the years have so much focused on lap times and battled each other. To... That is just total commitment. Yeah, this is as good as it gets to Carmichael. And they know if Ricky's coming by, Stewart can't be far behind. Oh, no! Carmichael, a quick look over his shoulder, almost as if to say, come on, James. Sir Stewart! Side by side, but no contact, and he can't get it done. What do you do in this situation? Grenade. And traffic again. Look right here. Oh, boy, Stewart with the lead. Carmichael coming here back. Here it comes. And the crowd getting back on their feet. This is amazing. This is what these guys live for, what they've trained their whole lives for. It's coming right Here's down Carmichael. to it. Try that in his career. How much more inspiration could you need? Porter getting Carmichael's right there. He can sniff the fumes from the exhaust pipe off that big cow. Side by side. Back to the inside. Carmichael's in the lead again. How much fun can they be having right now? Stewart, once again, the whoop section, benefiting the rider on the number seven. This is it. He's got to hit this whoop section. Good to stay close. Great job is right. Gossler giving the words to his rider. To the final corner, and James Stewart will win in Orlando. And Ricky Carmichael, last race of his career, and an incredible epic battle to the finish. I look back and the number seven was behind me and I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to be a great night. And it was just good, clean racing, man. What a, what a great way to uh, end your career on a, f a fun race like that, regardless if I didn't win.